Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. Now today is one of the big milestones for this build because system two is finally getting water in it. Now the reason I haven't filled up this system yet, um, even though this system was filled up three months ago, is because um, obviously these systems cost a huge amount of money to run because of the electricity and the salt. So I wanted to wait until these systems were pretty much full before I started that system. The biggest issue with starting that system is that the RO unit only makes uh, 400 litres of water a day and the system is uh, roughly 2,200 litres. So that gives, you a, that, that gives you a rough perspective with regards to how long it's going to take to fill. The other thing that I like to do before I run any tanks is I like to, uh, well before I put any livestock in any tanks, is I like to fill them with RO water. Uh, just obviously they, these systems have got dust in them and sawdust and insulation from the roof and stuff like that. So I like to run it for a couple of days just with, just with water in it uh, and then completely drain it down and then refill it with, uh, with RO water. Now obviously that, that is a little bit of a waste. Um, in the summer I, I use the water for the garden whereas obviously now it's winter it's not as much ne it's, it's not as necessary um, and I have a feeling that it will just flood the garden because it's, it's raining at the moment actually it's, it's actually snowing at the moment uh, so it's nice being in here because it's like a nice tropical climate when it's outside it's snowing now the plumbing for system 2 is pretty much identical to system 1 uh, there are some slight differences obviously the tanks at the end I've got two tanks rather than one uh, which obviously on system one it only has one tank added to it, which as you can see there. Um, which and because of that we need three vector pumps rather than two. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. So it's all connected to the RO unit, uh, the RO barrel uh, via this valve. And as you can see, the water's coming out. Now it's uh, it's obviously this system's far more full than it needs to be at the moment. So I need to turn on the vectors. One at a time. Although James told me not to turn them on one at a time, but we shall see. And then they will start up. There's a little bit of noise at first because they got air in them. And then you should be able to see. Oh, it's coming out here. There you go. So we've got this one, this one running first. And then, and then if I open this one. Uh, no, this one. Now if I open this valve here, it turns on this one. Now obviously I haven't got enough water at the moment. Oh, you can see it's going a bit too fast. Now I haven't got enough water at the moment to fill all these tanks, but uh, I just thought I'd do uh, do it slowly. It's it's uh, it's ironic. I don't even know if you can still hear me over the sound of splashing water, but um, the uh, the radions are only on on this tank for about three or four minutes a day. So it just happens to be what the time when I'm filming, so you can see it perfectly. But uh, none of these, si obviously, I haven't got, I still haven't got enough water. So once uh, once these are all full, I will then move on to the uh, the two on the end. Right now, as you can see, this has run out of water. I expect uh, by the end of tomorrow, uh, these two tanks will be took full. That will be full, and the sump will be full. And then on Tuesday. Uh, I can just do the last two remaining ones, which are slightly smaller. Um, the, some of you will have noticed that I've got the frag racks in. Uh, I don't have the legs for these, these frag racks yet, unfortunately. Uh, the, they should be arriving this week. Um, I don't know if they will or not. I've been told they will arrive uh, this week, but we shall see. The other two things to point out is that um, I had the stand reinforced because uh, there was some bowing here. And you can see there is still a little bit, a little bit of bowing, but it's not as as bad as it was. Uh, and I've done this one already as well. And um, it does make it slightly more difficult with regards to getting salt in because I've had the top and bottoms done. Uh, but it, uh, I'd rather, I'd rather make sure it was, uh, it was, that it was sturdy really, rather than uh, obviously aesthetically pleasing. And the final thing to mention is this is the last time that the floor will look like this because on Wednesday this week, the floor is being done, so it will look far more professional. Now, a lot of you will be wondering why I'm wearing gloves in this video. The reason I was wearing gloves is just thought of prepare at the beginning, because I wanted to show you some of the corals. So I got some new corals this week. Not a lot. They're just a couple of interesting mushrooms. As you know by now, I am very interested in uh, anything that's weird and wonderful from the mushroom world. Now, I will be completely honest with you. I ordered this online, and I ordered this one online as well. 
Now, I understand a little bit more why people are hesitant buying corals online, and it's because even though you see a picture of them, you don't realize just how small they are sometimes. This, when I first got it, it's, great. it's actually grown quite quickly, but when I first got it, it was probably about the size of my little fingernail, maybe even smaller than that. Uh, so, uh, but look, you take, you take the chance. The, uh, the jawbreak is doing well. You can see it. There seems to be more and more red appearing on it all the time. And, uh, and the other thing that I got is this mushroom here. This sort of, you can't really see it very well, but it's, it's sort of like blue with uh, white dots, which I'm hoping to grow out, so that, that would be nice. I can't remember if I um, showed you these last week, but these are some of the Favia frags, which I've done. And um, I think you have to, to realize just how pretty they are. It's easier for me to lift it up and show you. But they are, um, they sort of have like this glitter effect on them. These are on the website already, uh, along with a couple of others. They aren't all on the website, but, but those, those ones are. And then these are the other ones I like that I think are really pretty, but these ones aren't on the website. It's sort of got like a similar to a, similar to the, the Dragon Soul, but not, uh, it's like a, a smaller version of the Dragon Soul. So, now overall I'd say the corals are doing pretty well. They're not 100%, some of the SPS is not 100% still. I think it's because I had extremely low nitrates. Uh, I've started dosing nit nitrates more and more now. Uh, but as you can see, some of the pieces, so if you look at this, you can see that originally none of that, it, it was literally just the bit that's sticking up. And you can see that it is starting to, uh, to encrust onto, onto the tile. And there's, there's quite a few pieces which are doing that, even, um, even one of the war corals, which you can see here. Now these aren't the fastest growing corals. Uh, they, 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 they are pretty fast, but they're not the fastest. Uh, so I was, pr I was pretty pleased to see that this one started to grow on the tile as well. And the other thing that people will be glad to see is that the recordias, which everyone always wants some for, some of them have started to split. So this one has got three males uh, and one little, little baby one's off on there. A lot of the SPS is now doing really well. So the Hystrix and uh, Limebury Hystrix is growing really well. Uh, Stylophora and um, the, well, Stylophora is over there. The Ceratopora is doing really well. Um, there's a couple of bits around here which I am not, they don't look quite the right colour, so although they look good, then I'm not comfortable with selling them at the moment, uh, and it's the same with the Priscillapora. So I know a lot of people say, oh, I can see the corals in your tank while I'm on your website, if I'm not entirely happy with them, they don't go out, because I don't want you getting corals which you're not happy with, basically. Uh, but this is doing, um, this, is, this is so bright at the moment, so this is one, probably one of my favourite corals uh, at the moment, so... Uh, so yeah, uh, let me have a quick look at the other side. Oh yeah, I've got the other thing to show you is, although it's so orange, it's so orange. Uh, I have got a couple of new wraths in here. There's one there and I've got one somewhere. Oh, there's the other one. The little pair that I bought yesterday. So um, so yeah, that's, that's probably it with regards to corals. Uh, I am getting new corals this week, so uh, so that'll be good because then I'll have some some new interesting stuff to show you. But, uh, but right, that's it for today, guys. Obviously, it's not been the longest update or the most exciting update. It's um, it's difficult because obviously we're in lockdown at the moment, so there's not an awful lot going on. And uh, the fact I don't have any new corals or really that many new fish to show you, it's uh, it's not always easy to make a video every single week. But hopefully, uh, soon we'll be out of lockdown and things go back to normal. Because even if when you go to the fish shops, they don't want they don't want you filming there, they want you in and out as quickly as possible, which obviously I understand, and I want to be in and out as quickly as possible as well. So, um, so yeah, so this is the last time that it's going to look sort of like a, sort of a mess. Uh, the, even, even with the dosing tubes, as you can see, where are they? Why can't I see them? Can't see them. Even with the, even with the dosing tubes, you can see they just sort of hang down from the ceiling, uh, whereas that is all going to change soon because uh, James is back on Saturday. So James uh, he will be here just because uh, the first system had a couple of leaks and if this system, I, I expect this system to have leaks as well and I uh, just want someone there to, to help repair them just just in case. So, uh, and, and it's, 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 no, uh, it's no judgment of his work. I think there's 800 connections on the pipe work here. So uh, 
it's uh, there's bound to be a couple which uh, which aren't quite properly uh, sold and welded. So yeah, but uh, the place has been a little bit of a mess for a while. But it's uh, once it's all once as I said once the floor's done now the stand's been reinforced and now the second system's up and running. I should it should all be tidy. They've got a nice towel rack you know to put over there. I even got a light as well. Uh, to, to be installed above the uh, the saw so um, yeah next week should be a uh, a big uh, a big change but we shall see so anyway I hope you enjoy watching the video please feel free to comment below any questions uh, if you did enjoy it why not click that like and subscribe button I just want to say a massive thank you to obviously everyone that supports the channel on patreon that makes a huge difference uh, I have decided what I'm going to do with my patrons there's some corals that I have. Now what, what I've noticed, what, I put corals on the website and they almost instantly sell out. If they're not, if they're not like generic ones like, or I haven't got multiples of them. So I've got some nice um, Sophastria, like a, the, the Sophastria Decadia. One second, I'll show you. So as I said, I've got um, some Sophastria Decadia. Uh, this isn't a good example of it because I've already cut all the branches off of it. Uh, but this is a type of branching. Uh, Sophastria. Now I put this on the website, not this piece, I'll do this piece is for growing out, but I will, um, I see I've got another piece over here which will show the branching slightly better. Uh, there you can sort of see a little bit better that it's branching this piece, but neither of them are, are very very good representation of what, what it actually does look like uh, once, it's, uh, once it's out and branching properly. Um, now I put on the website and I think within the first hour I put four pieces up and all four of them sold immediately. So what I've decided to do is before I put corals up on the website I'm going to probably go on to, well not probably, I'm going to go on to uh, Patreon and just put a post up just saying that these are the corals will be going up. If anyone's interested let them know and give their, those people sort of like a first, a first chance because obviously they support me, so I want to I want to be able to support them in return. This is a, a quite interesting Leptoceras, which is uh, which is nice. That's growing out, and uh, and this is is also doing well. This is that this is that it's a grafted digi, which came on an Indonesia sh shipment. So uh, which I got from one of the maidenheads. So that's. Uh, that's a nice piece. But yeah, so I just thought they obviously do a lot for me and in return, I want to be able to give them something back as well. So that's probably what I will be doing. And I say probably, I keep saying probably, that will be definitely be what I'll be doing. <laughs> anyway, as I said, obviously I've done, I've done my little bit, my little end bit already. So uh, I'll just say, you know, goodbye. And um, I will see you hopefully next week.